four quakes strike within four hours off Vancouver. No damages or injuries, but many people shaken. Quakes hit more than 100 kilometers from Port Harvey, British Columbia. And it was a cascading uptick, which is very indicative of a major quake. Now, there were no reports of damage or injuries after four earthquakes struck within four hours off the northwest end of Vancouver Island on Monday. The tremors began as minor quakes but grew stronger as the morning turned to afternoon. A 5.1 struck at 8.44 a.m. Less than three hours later, a 5.6. 30 minutes later, a 5.8. And then an hour later, the 6 magnitude. Now, all four originated in the Pacific Ocean, more than 100 kilometers off Port Hardy, B.C., and at a surface depth of 5 kilometers. Earthquake Canada said there were no tsunami warnings, no reports of damage or injuries, and none would be expected from quakes of that size. Now, this area is a hotspot for quakes. Andrew Schaefer, a seismologist with Earthquake Canada, says they have received no reports of anyone feeling the quakes. You'd have to be ready and waiting, expecting to feel it, especially so far away and out to sea. Having four quakes in a row is a little more than what we would usually have anticipated, but certainly not out of the norm for this active region. In the last year, there have been more than 100 quakes between a magnitude of three and five, but very few grouping as fours. And we're going to quickly bring you in here on the USGS map to show you that progression. And in fact, we've had another 4.7 aftershock in the region just moments ago. And we're going to light up all those quakes here. 5.2, 5.7, 6.0, and a 6.0, according to USGS, now followed by a 4.7. All up in the northern section of the Cascadia rupture zone. And you're looking at them all right here. Now, what does this mean for you? Well, if we look at 10,000 years of Cascadia earthquakes, it means we're due for an 8 magnitude or greater any day. And we're watching for signs. And a grouping like this is a good sign to keep an eye on this region for another uptick. Now, this chart shows all 40 major earthquakes in the Cascadia subduction zone that geologists estimate have occurred since 9,845 B.C. Yeah, that's almost 12,000 years of data. Scientists estimate the magnitude and timing of each quake by examining soil samples at more than 50 undersea sites between Washington and Oregon. And these are the sites that they go sample. Now, the 1700 Cascadia earthquake is the largest earthquake recorded in the last 300 years, potentially in the entire world. With an estimated moment magnitude of 8.7 and 9.2, it was pretty stellar. And it's just an estimation. The mega thrust earthquake involved the Juan de Fuca plate from mid Vancouver Island south along the Pacific Northwest coast as far as Northern California. The length of the fault rupture was. 1,000 kilometers, or over 600 miles, with an average slip of 20 meters. And that's going to happen again. If you want to know more about the history of earthquakes in Cascadia, I'll leave you links to this article. No need for me to go into it. But let's look at the Rift tsunami model animation as I give you some more details, especially about the M9 project, a history of large earthquakes in Cascadia. Now, what is the big one going to look like? And how soon will we know it's coming? How are our cities and communities going to fare? It's anyone's guess. Here at the University of Washington, a group of scientists, engineers, and researchers are seeking to answer these questions. And you're looking at some of their modeling. The M9 project aims to reduce the devastating effects of a large Cascadia subduction zone quake that threatens the Pacific Northwest region. 
The M9 project is working to increase the understanding of earthquake-related hazards, including tsunami inundation, liquefaction, seismically induced landslides, aftershocks, and other things, and apply this knowledge to a warning system and community planning, which you can see here is clearly needed. In January of 1700, J Japan experienced a tsunami with no warning. Waves of 1 to 5 meters higher than normal hit the coast with no shaking to serve as a signal for what was to come. In recent years, scientists established that this orphan tsunami originated from apparent earthquake on the Cascadia subduction zone. As scientists dug deeper into Cascadia's past, they found that when Cascadia goes in with Gusca, Gusto, the Cascadian subduction zone currently produces further earthquakes compared to other subduction zones, which is why there's little or no warning when these quakes occur. And there are few surviving accounts, in fact. Where was I? There are few surviving accounts of major seismic activity in the Pacific Northwest. Now, Native American stories along the coast have told of a battle between the thunderbird and the whale, with elements of earth shaking and tsunamis as a result. And there are going to be links below for this information. And we just got blasted. And there are more information on the M9 project that I will leave you links to so you can read the whole history and you can watch the video for yourself. But we should all be asking ourselves. Will the next Cascadian megaquake be sooner than we think? Probably, because we're long overdue, and the signs are showing an uptick in volcanic activity. We're headed into the next grand solar minimum, which is a shutdown of our sun, and we're also entering a magnetic excursion, which is a 12,500-year cycle of global devastation, which includes volcanic activity and major earthquakes. There was a grand minima back here and back on during many of these quakes, including 315 years ago. Are you prepared? Prepared, not scared. Preparewiththeranch.com for all of your long-term food storage needs. The cheapest prices, 25-year shelf life. Hedge your bets. Get peace of mind. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Now is the time to be prepared, not scared. Be safe. We love you. And that's a boom.